Hello everyone, happy to see you here, and a lot of students may be saying, hey mister, this is the easiest equation you've ever seen, we can easily write this equation as x cubed, x cubed equal to 8, we can easily bring this 8 to the right side, and we can also write this x cubed as 2 cubed, because 2 cubed equal to 8, and our x, our x equal to 2, so we can easily solve this question like that. But in terms of math, it's not how the equation works nowadays. We should know about a correct approach to do this problem, because right here we have x cubed, so it means that we will have no more than three roots right here, and it's not all the roots that we need to find, we need to find more roots right here. And how can we do this? First of all, right here, let's write this 8 as 2 cubed. So what do we have right here? x cubed minus, let's write this 8 as 2 cube, and right now equal to 0. As seen in other words, right here we have a difference of 2 cubes. This is our first value, so we cubed it, and this is our second value, we also write it as a cube right here. So right now let's remember a formula from school, a difference of cubes, which is equal to, in our case, which is equal to x minus 2, x minus 2, times x square plus 2x, and plus 4. So according to this formula we can also write it like that. And from school we need to know that um, if we have expression that if we have a product of two parentheses that equal to 0, it implies that the first parenthesis is equal to 0 and the second parenthesis is equal to 0. So we just separate our, our solutions right here. So for example let's look at these at these parentheses. x squared plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. So x squared plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. How can you solve this quadratic equation? There are a lot of approaches, but I'm going to show you a really great uh, trick right here. So let's write this 4 as 1 plus 3. So we have x square, x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 3 equal to 0. And right now, let's group this expression right here. x square plus 2x plus 1, let's group it. Because this is our classic formula. x plus 1 square. So we have x plus 1, x plus 1, square. And we still have this 3, so we bring this 3 to the right side. Oh, let's write it like that, okay, plus 3 equal to 0. And right now let's bring this 3 to the right side. So what do we have right here? x plus 1 square equal to minus 3. Right now let's take square root on both sides. Let's apply square root on both sides. So it implies that from here we cancel this square and it, it appears right here. So we have x plus 1, x plus 1, equal to plus minus square root of, of minus 3. This is our x plus 1, but if we bring this one to the right side, we have our, we have our answer that our x equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 3. And this is, for most of students, this is kind of weird, uh, weird solution, because right here we have square root of minus 3, what about, how can we find the exact value of this square root of minus 3? We can't, we can't find, um, we can't solve it, we can't simplify it, and of course right here we need to remember, we need to learn about complex unit. So let's write this square root of minus 3 as, as like that, minus 1 plus minus, and inside this square root let's write this 3 times minus 1, let's write like that. Okay, and because of this square root of minus 1, we can also write our complex unit. So this is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 times i or i times square root of 3. So just remember, just learn that right here, it hides our complex unit. So remember about it and mm, take in your mind, keep in your mind that right here we have a complex unit. So as you can see, it implies that right here we have two more roots right here. So as you can see, as we solved it before, this is not a full solution to this challenge. Okay, you solve this question like that, you, you can easily do this, you can easily do this, but this is like a method to check a root. This is a, a great method to check a root, but it's not a full solution to this challenge. This is very bad solution because you forget about, about all more roots right here. Right here we have two complex roots. And let's find our real roots x minus 2 equal to 0 basically yeah. x minus 2 equal to 0 and from here x x equal to 2 absolutely the same solution as right here and a lot of students might be saying hey mister okay i solved it like that we have the same x equal to 2 but what about this solution how can you solve this challenge how can you solve this challenge in your mind with this complex part how can you find a complex root in your head it's not possible of course you need to know about difference of cubes and you need to find complex roots right here, because this is a full solution to this challenge. And saying in another word, for example, imagine um, we have x square, yeah, we have right here x square. It means that we have no more than two roots, so two roots, okay, I write it generally, okay, two roots. 
x cube it means that we have three roots maybe less than three root but generally we have no more than three roots it works the same with the fourth power with the first power is with the linear function if we have x minus 7 equal to 0 yeah it means that over here we have only one root no more than two no two roots no three roots only one only one root right here so right here one root right here two right here three root and generally this is our case because we have a cubic equation so it means that we have no more than three roots and we find each of the roots right here so let's write our answer let's write our answer let's write our all roots x first equal to 2 which is our real number root x second x second equal to let's go with the plus sign so minus 1 plus i square root of 3 this is our complex root first complex root and x third equal to minus 1 minus i square root of 3 this is our second complex root and this is a full solution to this challenge no more than root root here uh, we find all the three roots so we hope you understand my explanation uh, I want you to tell that right here you can't solve this challenge like that. You can do this, but it's really bad solution. When you don't know about a complex part, you can solve it like that, but don't forget about this complex part. As you can see right here, we have three roots because complex theory, complex method takes place in math, so we need to work with this, okay? So thank you for your time, thank you for your support. See you in the next videos. Have a great day. Also write your question down into the comment section. Write your thoughts about this challenge. It will be really interesting to read about it. So thank you for your support. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.